Hi, my name is Narayan Kumar. I'm a technical specialist at IBM for the Spectrum Protect Plus uh, product. Today, we're going to actually focus on, on the replication feature, uh, which was introduced in 10.1.1 of the Spectrum Protect Plus uh, release. So we're going to focus on a couple of use cases. The first one is a DR. Um, so for instance, you have a primary data center, in this case is New York, and you have a hypervisor and your Spectrum Protect Plus server, and you have the backup repository all in our primary site. With this new feature, now you can actually replicate uh, the backup repository to a remote offices. So your branch office in this case would be San Francisco. Um, and once this is replicated, all your backup jobs as based on the SLAs, um, you can enable them for replication. And as soon as the backup job is complete, it will actually replicate to the DR site. Now in event of a DR scenario, uh, what you would need to do is say you lost your primary site, New York, and all you have is San Francisco, you would need to just bring up a Spectrum Protect Plus server uh, and attach the uh, the vSNAP backup repository to the Spectrum Protect Plus management server. And now you can restore all the VMs and also the, uh, the catalog uh, stuff. Now, another use case is uh, just simply as replication for remote offices. So your remote offices in this case are New York and San Francisco and Chicago being your primary data center, you can actually re replicate your remote offices to your uh, primary data center and vice versa. Now, the beauty of this solution is you, all you need is just one uh, Spectrum Protect Plus management server managing um, across your remote offices. In this demonstration, we have actually added a separate vSNAP uh, storage, which is the backup repository for uh, the remote office, remote site over here. Um, in my previous video, I have actually demonstrated showed how to deploy a vSnap storage, uh, which is up on the YouTube channel uh, for IBM storage. Now, in this case, what we're going to do is we actually click on the wrench icon, and we are going to actually configure the secondary uh, vSnap server as a replication partner for uh, this remote office. So you click on the storage partners. And here you would add and select the secondary site and you click on add a partner. It would take uh, a minute or two for it to go ahead and establish the connection and add it as a, uh, as a storage partner. So in this case, now it says already added it as a um, remote uh, partner. And now what we need to do is now we select the SLA policies. Uh, so in this case, we're going to select the catalog backup to replicate to the uh, remote offices. So we would select edit the catalog backup and we would click on the storage replication and you say enable replication. And the target site in this case is going to be remote and you would actually save. So once you hit save, um, as soon as the catalog backup runs, it is now going to actually replicate to the uh, remote office. So thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.